virtual reality. Can you put this back in the center, John? Sorry, we can. We've got the technology. We need content ideas. Can somebody tell me how this works? The content goes right here, and bingo. What do people like to do? It's as simple as that. I like, I like the Lakers. You could sell season tickets to virtual reality games. Get them in the showers or, you know, toweling off. What if we went to the superstars' houses and you could, you could live in their house? Maybe uh, you could get whipped by Steph Curry. Um, you know, like, you've been really bad. Seems yeah. a little personal, though. There are some big, big companies that I think we should get involved with. Mm -hmm. I want to start with Whole Foods. We take this idea, we go into that supermarket, we go into that Target, right? And we, we interact, but we make it more of an adventure for that person. Like, there's like a guy working there, and he offers you a red pill or a blue pill. Mm -hmm. All right, now, if you take the wrong one, you, you're, you shut down, and you're back in your reality, and you can't use that again. It's a matrix. Matrix. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably, just... I probably saw that. Okay, it's the Matrix. Is there dating app potential with virtual reality? Mm. Think about Tinder. I went to a bar uh, over the weekend, and I was on a date, but I saw there was a super hot chick, like, scoped me out. In my mind, I was thinking, I want to talk to this hot chick, but I had to date. So it would have been cool if I could just phew, go in and go to the hot chick, and the date's going on or whatever, and I go explore that adventure. I mean, you got to pick the right people, though, because we can, you know, I mean, we're not going to feature, you know, I'll be down here, because... <clears throat> Last night, I went to uh, a barbecue. My friend Dan, he makes these wonderful kebabs, you know? Yeah. Avi, I feel like you just told me about your Sunday night. You didn't really give me a VR idea. I don't mean to be rude. I wouldn't want to watch that in real reality, much less virtual reality. I watched this doc the other day uh, where this guy falls in love with his phone, um, and this would just allow him to have sex with his phone because it would be a virtual reality world. It's not a doc. Not a doc. Her. Yeah, it's a film. Right. That's her. Oh, that's true. I have that actor Wiccan, Wiccan Phoenix. Oh. No, Wiccan is... Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. There is, I think, a real obvious revenue generator for us in the world of VR. Pornography. I, I've done a little research in this area. If there were smells... If we could get a Ralph Lauren paint coat on that wall... That they're, I, they're, the, the wall that they're f***ing against. Absolutely. I read the Stephen King book, Lawnmower Man, and I watched the film. He takes a hillbilly, and he puts him in a virtual reality world, and he learns, and he gets smarter, and eventually Thanks, he becomes like the he becomes like all powerful. Like, you know, have, you, you know when you're watching a movie and it says viewer discretion advised? Yes. Yeah. This isn't a brainstorm as much as it is like, uh, you know, Nuremberg. Do we, uh, do we dial in Trevor for this? Trevor. Has Trevor not been on any of this so far? Here's another one that Sarah brought up, uh, a retirement facility, uh, but you know, inside, behind the scenes okay. of a retirement, behind the Is scenes. Is it on fire? Uh, it's like that movie, Brain Scan, uh, where you put the goggles on and you get to be someone else and you get to see their life when they murder somebody. I don't think that we could, uh, we could afford to murder people, Dan. Well, you, you don't really know what you're doing, whether it's a game or real life. So yeah. we wouldn't know if we're paying for it or not. What? After all that, are there any ideas that anybody would um, really like to see us move forward with? Do you guys just want to do porn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be good. Okay. It's in a minute.